We're going to be putting on some uh, helmet decals onto this helmet for a customer. Thought we would uh, share how easy it is, what it's like to put them on. Um, first thing we do is we remove the visor. We're not going to put a visor decal on this helmet because it's already got one. But the second thing we do, we'll go ahead and clean it. And I'm using just a decal cleaning solution that we use here at the shop. Basically, you need to clean everywhere that the decal is going to go. So if there's no decal on the front, no need to wash the clean the front. When we apply these, we've got numbers on here, which item should be first, okay? So we'll go ahead and start with number one. It's kind of going to dictate where we put everything else. Basically, I'm just trying to get a position where I think I'm going to like it. Now notice down here, I want to make sure it runs past this black just barely on both sides because I'll eventually come through with a knife, trim it up so it's flush. So all of our decals, you can move it down a little bit, overhang however you need to. There's a little spot right here. Maybe I want to scoot it back just a little bit so that I'm not running into this and it should work with this decal. So I'll slide it back just a little bit. So I won't initially tack that down completely. I'll go ahead and place in a few other things, make sure it's where I want them, and then I'll come back and do that. So do you have to put it right there? No, you could slide it over, you could slide it this way. It's kind of personal preference. The reason why I'm not tacking this down is I want to make sure everything kind of works the way I want it to. Then I will go ahead and press it all down. So I'm looking to see, do I have some space there? Does this overlap this? Those major things. So you've got a helmet that looks like so, so far. I really haven't pressed, I could still pull these up if I need to. Once, once you get uh, a few of the major things on, then the other little accent pieces are pretty easy. Now I'm going to continue to put the front piece on. It goes something like so. Okay, once I feel like I've got stuff pretty close to where I want them, I will go ahead and start putting them down. Every helmet's a little different. The holes will be different spots. Just put them where you think they look the best. So using my finger, I'll just slowly work this D 
decal into all these different uh, grooves. And I've got a uh, kind of a rivet right here. So for the moment, I'll just work it right around it. Then I'll come back and heat it up later. You can use a squeegee, but it doesn't work real well on this curved surface, so. All right, now that I've got a bulk of it on, I'll use a torch and we'll, we'll heat up this little rivet area and go ahead and press it in. You could use a heat gun. Hair dryer might work if it gets hot enough. I just heat it till I see the vinyl flex a little bit. Then I'll go through here and just heat, heat the edges up. All right, now I'm gonna use a sharp knife, do a little bit of trimming. You're gonna to have to do that with any package you buy, except for maybe a, uh, there's a flame one and there's a splash one that you wouldn't have to do much trimming on. But basically, I'm just gonna cut right along this rubber. Use a squeegee. And then we'll come up and do the same thing along the front side. And then we've got a little vent. You can see the vent there. We'll go ahead and cut that out. If you don't race dirt track, you wouldn't necessarily have to cut this out or if you don't care about breathing. And there you have, one side is done.